Adding web pages gives us far many options, um, many more options than adding just a simple text page. Now let's have a look at it, how it actually does that. Uh, once again, we've got the editing turned on. We add a resource and we compose a web page. Right, and we'll see the difference between the text and the web page. Uh, once again, we give it a name, a sample web page. So I had to interrupt it because the server dropped out. Okay, um, uh, short description again. Description of the web of the web page that we're creating. Oof. All over the place. Excuse my typos. Now, when it comes down to composing a web page, you can see we have far many more options to what we can actually do. So let's say sample web page. Um, we can uh, change the font, uh, we can change, uh, so we can go bold, we can go um, italicized, pretty much like a word editor, uh, we can even change the font if we make a, make a bit of an impact, um, um, let's say change the background color if you like, red and yellow for example. Um, let us insert a link to just uh, click here. Now we can hyperlink um, this uh, word here or any other text. We highlight it and then we simply click to insert a web link. Um, we can again choose to browse for it. Right, and um, pretty much like we browsed for the um, for the web page before, or for example, if we know already a, a, a URL address, so let's say um, let's go for abc.net.au. Of course, we can always copy paste things in here. So if you have another browser open, um, you can just simply copy and paste the text in here. Uh, let's give it a title: ABC News. And the target refers to where will the new document open once you click on the link. So we, come to, uh, we get it to open a new window. We click OK. So as you can see, the text has actually changed and there's, an, there's a live web link in there. Uh, when in creating a web page, the, probably a very useful feature of that is that we can insert an image. Uh, let's... Uh, Look for an image uh, in um, my pictures. Uh, let's let's find the silliest photo I can add. Okay, let's uh, insert a donut. I I browse for it. Pretty much attach it like an email. I upload it, and all of a sudden you will see the uh, uh, the uploaded donut the JPEG or the picture in the list of resources. I click on it. Right, and I can specify the width and height in pixels. I can also do that later in the editor. Um, and I need to enter the alternate text. Um, the alternate text appears if the image does not appear or it doesn't load for some reason. The viewer still n n knows in a way what the picture is of. Um, there's some spacing uh, editing options that you can have a bit of a play around. Okay, but now we let's say we click OK, and all of a sudden the picture of a donut is inserted here. As you can see, I can drag it, make it a little bit bigger or smaller. Um, uh, some of the things that probably kids are used to editing, uh, uh, entering are smileys. Lots of them there. So I'm going to go for tongue, tongue out, and I can actually even stretch that one out a little bit, and kids will. Um, Actually, uh, we can insert a table. Uh, we can specify pretty much like in Word how many um, rows and columns we need to um, we would like in a column. Uh, we would like in a table. We can as uh, we've been to an image. What else comes here? A very important feature of this is for those of you who are more advanced and know a bit of a HTML code. I actually don't um, know it all that well, but you can toggle if you like um, between the 
what you see, what you get, the WYSIWYG editor and the HTML editor by clicking on the um, on this little button here. And that's, um, once again, these are the advantages of uh, creating a web page rather than uh, a plain text page. Once again, we get it to open a new window. We save changes, return the course. And let's have a look at it. Um, let's have a look at our sample web page. Um, as you can see, it opened a window. We can maximize it, minimize it. We can do whatever we like to it. And let's just test this little link that we inserted here. As you can see, the little cloud is showing ABC News. It's the description that we entered. And if we click on it here, the link it actually is, is live and it will open. Okay. So, and this is particularly useful for compiling lists of useful websites or things like that that you want kids to go to direct to.